word for the day. Hear my cry, oh Lord. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth, will I cry to you? That is higher than I Hear my cry, oh Lord And listen to my prayer From the end of the earth Will I cry to you Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth, will I cry to you? Will I cry to you? When my heart is overwhelmed, leave me to the rock, leave me to the rock. to be free. You know, there's no chain of bondage that can hold you down when you have Jesus Christ in your life. Now, um, you know, uh, every day um, we got to get a bit closer to Jesus. And um, I'm just going to give you a bit of word there that will help us during the day. Because um, some of us, we need to know uh, how we can come to know Jesus. How do you come to know Jesus Christ as your personal saviour? Okay, well, here I go. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, for one thing, that when you all go to church, you all got to have a bit of area in knowing about faith. Um, and faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. And that's in Hebrews. But you see, people, when we, when you wonder to yourselves that you hear all these ministers and you hear everyone ministering about salvation, but unless you come to God in faith and knowing God is coming to Jesus and Jesus said, if you have a grain of faith, a little mustard faith, you can say unto the mountain that's believe in your heart and shall not doubt, uh, you can come to know Jesus in that way because faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God because we all need to hear the word of God every day of our lives you can't escape that people because one day wherever you go Jesus will find you wherever you can't go running you can't go hiding and if you think you can go without the Lord I think you better evaluate yourself very carefully now to come to know Jesus Christ as your personal saviour is the most beautiful thing that you can ever imagine. And that is knowing what salvation is all about. Salvation is very important for us so we can come to know Jesus. Now, what we have to do is you've got to believe in your heart. You've got to come and you've got to have belief in your heart. You've got to believe. And Jesus said that he's given us all a measure of faith. Now, what I said in Hebrews 11... Hebrews 11, it's a faith chapter of scripture, um, and I'll turn to it just for your fellow's confirmation uh, to confirm what I'm speaking about, if you, um, if you all know the scriptures, and I'm talking about there are people out there that already know God, 
and you are mature enough to get going, to get out there and tell people about Jesus Christ, because it's very important. Okay, now these are for ones that are needing encouragement, so I'm just talking to people that need encouragement in their faith. Now, as you know, faith is very important for all of us so we can keep going. That we have something believing and we have something to believe in. Because faith, without faith, it is impossible to believe. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So all these people that believe in Jesus Christ that are out there, if you need encouragement in your faith, you need to stand on your faith. And you need to say, well, Lord, can I tell people about you? Because that's what Jesus is all about. It's about sharing the gospel. It's about sharing the love of God. And it's about helping people in the greatest time of need. Okay, now here we go. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it is the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So by faith Abel, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was a righteous, God testifying of the gifts, and, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. Now what I'm saying is people, we need faith, if you need faith to believe that, that you know, because some of us, we all came to Jesus one way or the other. We've all, we've all heard about Jesus Christ, but some of us are having trouble climbing or changing on your journey. But you need to know what God's all about. You need to come. And if, you, if, you're, if you're in that area where you, you, you're not going anywhere in a hurry, or you're a bit confused, or uh, you need someone to talk to about your faith, uh, please feel free. We'd love to uh, come to, uh, you can come up here and we can have a prayer for you. Because the call of God on your life is very important. You need to hear the word. You need to hear God. Because the Lord said, if you call unto him, and he will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And God loves us people. And that's why he came, because why, as you already know, in John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he forgave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So it's very important that we grow in our faith. And when you grow in your faith, it changes you, not only on the outside, but it changes you on the inside. Jesus changes us on the inside. Then he does a whole change in your outside appearance. So Jesus changes the inside of you first. So, you know, it says like that, we, Lord, how can I come to you? And you can come to Jesus by opening up your heart and accepting Jesus into your life. And say, so here I am, Lord, open up my heart that I can come to know you. And Father, um, I don't know how to pray prophetically, but here I am, Lord, a simple prayer. Open your heart up to Jesus and let Jesus come into your heart. And then from there, you start changing your journey. You're on a journey. So when you come to Jesus, you open your heart up and you're on a journey. And you know what? He may not have... Um, he may not have said you'll get a safe journey, but he, he promised to use you a safe landing. So God, wherever you are, and whatever your situation is, just learn that here I am, Lord. I open my heart up to you. And Father, thank you. Thank you for my journey today. So you need to call unto God out of your heart when you come to Jesus and give Jesus a go. Give Jesus a go to work in your life today. It only takes five seconds to open your heart up, be genuine in your heart, and I tell you what, your, your whole life will be absolutely changed because Jesus has got a hold on you and he's not going to let you go, so you can't escape the Lord. You can think you can do without God, but I don't think so because one day you'll be, you'll be wanting Jesus so badly, I, I tell you. So, bless God, I'm going to sing one more song, and I'm handing it over to our other brother. Yeah. 